you know, a lot of times what's publicized is obviously the good hits, yeah. the home runs, the doubles, the game-winning hits. That's what's publicized. So we see a lot of similarity in those hits, yeah. in those swings. But for me, if you ask, I want to see what's going wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to see that in what is our consistency level and look at, okay, so what are the possible causes? And it's not going to be a swing. I don't fix swings. People are like, what? I don't fix swings. I fix setups. Because we start at setup. And whatever my setup is, is going to be different than yours and yours. And it might be different tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I might wear a pitch tomorrow and I can't move the same. So I might adjust. Because my body's not going to allow me to move the way I want to. So because I'm competing and I'm going to be in that lineup, I'm going to find a way to get it done. But I know I want to do this. So this is what I can do today. But for the most part, we can kind of stabilize and have a good idea what a standard setup is. But, you know, we talked about some people go into kind of a, a hinge. Some people are taller. You know, everybody has their little feeling. But those swings, when we see them working from here to here, that's where I see consistency. Mm-hmm. And I don't care who the hitter is. They're consistent from here to here. And how they get there might be a little different. How they finish might be a little different. Where that pitch was might be a little different. But that's where I look. That hand path, that line. The extension, the direction, those are the things I think are the most consistent, no matter what the swing total is. 